All right, you guys, I hope you guys like this start of this video. Uh, the reason why I do it is because I thought that it was very impressive when I first saw this video, I shared it with the clip, I shared it with Omel, and I thought that it's something very, it blows my mind when you focus on yourself rather than judging others and doing bad to others, bad mouthing, if that's, if that's something that we can call it for. And today's video, we're gonna start with cleansing. This is an all clean balm. This is a Comfortable Beauty Intensive Cleaning Balm. This is a Korean brand. And I think uh, once it's open, only they know what how long it's open. Uh, let's see in the bottom. It expires in the 2023rd, so August, August 30th, 2023. It comes with a beautiful spatula in here and it's a brand new product for us. Since Omel hasn't opened it, I'm gonna be the one taking the homework uh, for myself. So this cleansing balm, it's, it's something that I purchased, I think it was the first, the only one purchase I made at Asai Alana. So I'm very excited to try this out. Uh, again, never really had this before. A little bit of ASMR. I've only ha I've had a balm from Clinic. But going back to the very beginning, I'm first I'm gonna cleanse, of course. Remove the makeup that I had, the SPF. Mm. This product is very good, actually. I would definitely recommend it just like as a cleanser. If you want to do double cleansing like I do, you'll probably enjoy this too. So the main reason why I wanted to add that video is because I think it's a very powerful statement for self-love and self-care. I think um, a lot of people, like even I caught myself in the past, I think when you're in a relationship, no matter what kind of a relationship you are, if it's just a friendship, if it's a friendship with your brother, with your sister, it's a friendship with your friends, with your lover, with your partner, I feel like you do still have to care for yourself. And for me, now in 2021, I've, I have focused myself more onto being more uh, aware of my self-care and obviously taking care of myself a little bit more just because I feel like a lot of the times we pay a lot of attention to things that we shouldn't be, I mean, materialistic things. Um, I think it's a luxury nowadays to have a real conversation with somebody face-to-face uh, -face without them being on their phones or ignoring you for a moment. That to me, that's some that's some easy self care, def definitely. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know what I mean. So uh, that's basically where, where I'm going to um, stop, stop, stop worrying about what others think of think of you, and stop worrying about the drama. Stop worrying about something that you can't control. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off all this makeup, and then all this SPF, and do my double cleanse as usual. And then I'll be right back with you guys. All right, you guys, so I'm fin finally finished washing my face. And let's talk about the real things that happened this month for me within our skincare routine. So first off, I started adding this beautiful product right here. This is a Kiehl's Ferulic Brew Rejuvenating Facial Essence. First off, it's not the final review, but I'm do gonna, gonna spill some tea. It is a little bit hard for me to actually pour the five uh, drops, I think it is. Let's see. Avoid contact in case of ice. Um, agitate well. There's like five to seven drops, and I'm like really like I, it's just hard. I, I'm so used to just pouring a little bit of the essence, but because this one is an um, essence that's also gonna help you balance the pH, kind of like a toner. Um, it's just different. And I do enjoy the scent. I think it's very, you know, it does remind me a lot to the Origins by Estee Lauder, the skincare line. I feel like it has a lot of that 
mushroom buy kind of style like the fragrance itself so i am excited to, to try this and i'm very surprised that it was all almost here and within seven days between Domel and i use in morning and night it's gone quite a bit so i'm very impressed with this one um second of all i'm gonna t tell you what products i use for my nighttime routine so this is the revital lift this is a serum for all signs of aging so i'm gonna go ahead and pour two pumps I'm just gonna go ahead and rub it and then just press it onto my skin. While that one dries in, so I don't go ahead and just pour and pour and pour more products, I'm gonna use the Olay. This is the brightening eye cream. I started using this a month ago, but I've been using I was using back and forth the the creme shop, the plumping eye cream. And I felt like this one uh, needed a little bit of more rest in order for me to finish the other one first. So this is what I'm using now. And it's very gel-like. It's very hydrating. Uh, the uncomfortable part for me is just that it comes in a jar. I would have rather to have this in a pump or a dispenser. But here I am with the, with the jar. The next product I have is, I'm between Revitalift Vitamin C first, or this one. Since this is more liquidy, I think I'm going to go for this one first. This is a collagen boosting treatment with hydrating um, ingredients. I personally like this product. I feel like it's nice. It's a little bit pricing. And it doesn't do anything more than just hydration. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see with the final review because I am, I'm feeling good hydrated, but I am always looking for a little bit extra. And then to complete the whole skincare routine with the serums, I'm going to use the vitamin C. This is the Revital Lift 10% Pure Vitamin C uh, by L'Oreal. I'm almost about to finish this product and I already have an extra one. So I'm very excited that I have the other one because I honestly, even though I'm excited about this one, I am going to tell you the truth here that I haven't feel I don't feel like my skin is brighter. I feel like it's more even and firmer, but it's not super bright. Whereas the one that I was using before by Neutrogena, the 20%, I felt like that one was more brighter. But even and out, my skin tone works just fine. I I rather use it at night than in the morning. I feel like because I'm in the morning and I'm using SPF, and even I'm using SPF. I feel like I expose myself a little bit more to the sun and UV rays. I'm going to show you my sugar taco cup and the mom made some chai latte. I love chai latte. With vanilla unsweetened milk. Lactose intolerant. And then just to finalize the whole skincare routine, I'm last going to talk about this. This is the Naturium Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream. So this one has ceramides. I've talked about it before and I don't like it. The reason why I don't like this one is because the texture, it's very uncomfortable. I feel like I'm applying a powder, if that makes any sense. The texture itself, it's hard, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's hard to maneuver and apply it in your skin, whether you let the other products rest in or just apply it right away. I feel like you get to have like, even though if you grab a little bit of the uh, portion of the moisturizer, I feel like the uh, the cream overall feels just hard to apply. It's uncomfortable. I personally don't like it. I feel like it's very affordable. Of course, the consistency, it's okay. Could have done better, but um, packaging is beautiful. I love the fact that she put it in a very obscure packaging, whereas the other one, the niacinamide, was in the green one. Uh, but personally, I wouldn't recommend it. I don't think it's worth anything that, from the price that I, I paid for it. And I just don't, I, I don't, it's just hard for me. I don't mean to be rude or do harsh comments or, you know, be sound like I'm in person, but this moisturizer is not good for me. The niacinamide was good, but it was, it runs so fast because of the gel consistency. And then before, of course, we use the ceramides from the like the silver silver uh, moisturizer in a pump, and I felt like that one was running so fast, and he had so many issues with the dispenser that I'm like, I'm in limbo with 
currently with within her line like the natrium line i feel like i'd expect that more um however i'm still gonna use it because guess what we still have more moisturizers by natrium so we gotta finish those out um but so far I'm, i've been very disappointed for not because of the ingredients but because of the how the actual benefits deliver in my skin i think i have had a hard time kind of like seeing the actual visual results and it's just hard whereas other brands deliver right away their benefits so i i'm just in like in between and then when it comes to consistency sometimes consistency is great but it runs so fast or consistency is really horrible and it's just difficult to even use it like i sometimes avoid to use this one because i'm like really i'm gonna have to deal with that again but um there's other ones like the cleansers that are amazing they last such a long time uh those are like my top i i want to say between my cleansers those would be like on between my five five first so um, i definitely recommend the cleansers yeah but this one is just like yeah i don't know but yeah let me tell you really quickly if i missed anything why i'm using each product so this is uh, again an all over anti-aging serum and this one is to basically boost the collagen but also mainly to hydrate the skin and then of course we have the vitamin c by l'oreal which is amazing and i haven't used it for a while and i still have one more uh, bottle because you can never have enough vitamin c and i want to make sure that i get to have a good try on this specific product by l'oreal then we have the gel cream which is nice and i personally like it i think it's a very good combination between the eye creams and the moisturizers and i myself like to add my eye cream before i put the moisturizer because i like to make sure that i seal everything in and i think that's pretty much at the moment i've been using the essence and everything else how do you like the essence so far email what do you think it's not the final review but it's kind of an update you know to be honest with you i have been really enjoying it uh, i have just been using it evening time um because I didn't really find anywhere in the box where it says you could or could not. But just as of recently, I've been doing it a little bit more in the morning as well. Um, and I enjoy it. I have enjoyed it. What about you? I have been using it every morning and every night. And I feel like I was saying before, I think it's it's a really nice kind of toning essence. And it's really calming. The scent reminds me... Oh, did you put this one on today? No. And I feel like the scent reminds me a lot too the origins mushroom i don't even remember those green toll mm -hmm. it smells a lot like those and i feel like it's a good calming soothing but at the same time kind of balancing and exfoliating toner uh, or essence and i personally enjoy it the only thing that is hard for me is when you told me you gotta use five drops five drops or seven drops that's what they say five so I was like, oh my gosh five it's so pounds, hard and sometimes I would literally put the five drops and I'd be like this little like this little portion and it's so hard because then you gotta press it and you wanna make sure it's everywhere so it's like oh my gosh this product's probably supposed to be lasting like a whole two years and here we are almost here but yeah so far so good and i also talked a little bit about this one how do you feel about this one you know i think it's a moisturizer um is it something special iconic do i need to run and get it again no does it work sure is there things that are better out there? Absolutely. Of course. And then I'm going to run between the last products that I used just to see if you've tried them or how do you feel about them. Have you tried this one? Um, not enough to have an opinion. Have you tried this one? Yes. How do you like it? Um, I don't know how I feel about it because I don't like the silicone feel. Yeah. Um, the times that I've tried it, I just I haven't really seen a difference either. Mm -hmm. We have a full bottle for you. Ba -da, ba but um I, I oh i don't know i don't know how i feel about it yeah it's hard what about you same <laughs> then this is a hydrating also boosting collagen um lms serum. lovely serum is it 65 or 75 is it worth it not for that price all right how about this one i have not tried that and it says fragrance free so i just want to say i just want to see if you have you had the same feeling with this one? You know what I mean? It's just hard. It smells almost like roses, right? It smells like roses, huh? But it says fragrance free. Well, okay. Alright, L'Oreal. Let's hope that also L'Oreal. That's good. 
With that being said, you guys, if you guys have any questions, please let us know in the comments down below. We'll be more than happy to announce any other, like, kind of like recommendations that we may have in a moment. And I would love to see Domel to sit here and explain some of the benefits and the reasons why you need to wash your hair twice or twice. When you wash it twice, you know what I mean? Because, like, I never knew about it. And I know we have some empty bottles for the shampoos. And I know Domel is the expert number one. And he has so much knowledge and I can't wait for you guys to hear him out when it comes to hair care because that's a topic that it's definitely needed to be talked to about because a lot of people don't know like secrets tips or you know just in general um, common knowledge for products and I think a lot of the times we just go with whatever it's out there and not necessarily that means that it's gonna be a good product for you but I'm really excited we're working very hard with the mail that's putting a lot of effort, putting a lot of emotion, putting a lot of uh, work for more content for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I would definitely encourage you, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, like the button, like like the button. Yeah, pretty much hit the button and like it and share the video, share the video with somebody who is gonna have fun, somebody who you wanna have a, a peaceful experience, somebody who you wanna send them good vibes with this video. Thank you so much again and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.